Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In the last video, we designed custom header template using Elementor Theme Builder. So this was the header template that we designed in the last video. And this is how it actually looks on the website. I have added some blank pages to the website so that you will see some added pages in the menu bar. Now, this is the header that we designed in the last video. Now, in this video, we are going to design the footer template using Elementor Theme Builder. Now, before that, let me change the name of this header template. So let's click on edit and go to settings. Here it shows the name of the header template. So let me change it to header and update it. Now we are going to create the footer template using the Elementor Theme Builder. Now I'm already logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. Below Elementor, you will see templates. Then you will see Theme Builder. Click on Theme Builder. Now we do not have template for the footer. Let's go to the footer first and click on add new. Now here you will see some pre-designed sample footer templates. Now let's see, we are going to use this template. So let's click on it, open image. This is an image. So we are going to use this image for the reference. So let's close it. We will be doing it manually. Now, this is the design. So let's click on the plus sign. Let's see if the first column, the first section is a single column. So select the single column and change the style, change the background color. Let's use something similar to that yellow color. Okay, this one looks good now let's add some padding here now add content or let's say use heading central line and it says need help call a number so this is the text let's change the color of the text to black and let's change the size also Right, so this looks like this one now I've add here we have different columns so we are going to use a three column section so here select three column change the background color to black Let's add some padding let's use the typography everything will be white so let's select white text color link color All right now what does it say so is let's see if we can add logo here all right now let's add some text okay you can replace this text this is the dummy website so i'm not going to change anything here and change the color to white this left align it now here i'm going to add text heading and i'm going to add some quick links to the website pages let's have this color all right now we are going to add some quick links so let's add the navigation bar. We already have the navigation bar here. So we are going to use the same menu here for the quick links. So nav menu, select and drop it here. Now it says horizontal, change it to vertical. Okay, now change the style. All right, now remember if you have any drop down menu in the navigation bar, then it will not look good here in the footer section. So you can replace this with a simple icon list. Now let me have some another styling. All 
all right now here up we are going to add the contact details so let's duplicate it and move it here and let's name it contact details or let's say contacts now we're going to add icon list here the first one will be phone number so search for the phone icon so this is the phone number let's add a link to the phone number so whenever someone clicks on it it will dial the phone number in the second icon list change it to email let's say envelope enter your, your mailing address copy the email address and here you can link it mail to column and then your email address now here address look for map icon all right so this is the address now let's change the styling increase the space between icon looks good to me let's change the size to 20 and the text size change it to 20 and change the color let's say white okay so it's looking good now okay now we need to add one more column here all right so let's add new column and we are going to change the color something different than this one so go to style and change the color to let's say dark blue okay let's add some padding now here we are going to add two sections so use inner section here just add the text content and let's say copyright and copy colon all rights reserved all right change the style change the color to white and here we are going to add social media icons so, so look for social icons to the right align let's change the color official color custom color use this same color all right now let's change the size that is align to the middle vertical align change it to middle okay now we have got the social media icons at the bottom now let's publish it add condition include entire website so we want this footer for the entire website so select entire website and click on save and close all right so the footer is ready now using this theme builder you can design any kind of footer layout so let's go back to the page and refresh the page now here you will see the footer now this this is the home page we do not have any content on this page so you will see that if I go to about page you will see the header and footer because the about page is still blank so you will not see any content here however the footer and header is applied to the entire website and you will see it on all the pages of the website all right now let's go back to the dashboard go to theme builder now here you will see the elementor header and footer we have these two layouts ready now in the next video we will see how to design a custom single page layout using elementor theme builder so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.